Hello everybody! In this video tutorial I want to quickly discuss with you how we can summarize some data with some descriptive statistics and then visualize the data with what is called a box and whisker plot. So let's say for example I've got a set of data, I've measured the length of some plant seedlings and I've got quite a number of data points here. So from uh, B2, that's in this um, cell here, B2, down to B46. So that's quite a few data. And of course, I want to summarize these data and present them nicely. So what we can do is we can use two methods how we deal with them. So the first one would be uh, what is called a box and whisker plot that gives a nice summary of the data in a visual format. So in order to do that, I go to insert and I highlight my data set. So I left mouse click on the length and then basically drag it all down and highlight all my data here. And then I go to recommended charts here. That's over there. Click on that. And I want to see all the charts. Click on that. And uh, there is this box and whisker plot. So I just click on that and hey presto, I've got my plot here, my box and whisker plot. So I can make this a little bit larger and I get quite a bit of information. Here on the y-axis we would have the length. Uh, just simply add this here as an axis title. We just simply say here, this is the length, length of the seedlings in millimeter. We don't really have an x-axis or something like that that we would need to label, but we could do that as well. And here we could give it a chart title. And what we see is this typical box here. Uh, this blue box and this contains the 50% range. So we've got this line here. Uh, I hope you can see this in the middle, this black line uh, in the middle that represents the median and we've discussed what the median is. And we would have so this would be the first quartile. This part here, let me uh, just write this down. So this one here is the first quartile. Here, this part here is the second quartile. We've got the third quartile and I put it over here. So the third quartile. And last but not least, we've got the fourth quartile here uh, from here to here. And so what we see is that 50% of our data are located in this blue shaded box. So that's 50% of our data of the measurements that are in here. Um, and here we've got, as I said, we've got here, this is the median represented by this line. That's the median of the data. If we look very carefully, we also have uh, an X here that the program shows us. And this actually is the mean of the data. And we see that the mean and the median are not identical, but uh, sometimes they are just a little bit different. So there's nothing to worry about. Okay, so this is 
how we can visualize our data with this box and whisker plot, and that's uh, quite a useful plot. We can also uh, look at the data from a descriptive point of view. We do uh, descriptive statistics, and for that you need to go to data here. So here is the data tab and you have installed the data analysis tool pack, which is located here. Uh, so we click on that, we get a new window and it says here already descriptive statistics. So we click OK. And what we want is we want to input our data. So from here, from the first data point, to the last data point and you see how I drag the, the mouse down. Okay, so I've got my data here. The data are grouped by columns. We do have a label in the first row and I want my output range. I want this to be, well, actually I want it to be on the same sheet. So I just click here. I want the output to be here. I want the summary statistics and a confidence interval for the mean. So that all looks good. So let's press OK. And here I get my summary data. I make this a little bit larger. So here are my summary data. Now I see the first thing that I do is I always check, do we have the right count? Yes, we've got about 45 data points. That's uh, correct. We've got a value for the mean. We've got a value for the median here as well. And we see that, uh, as we've seen in this box and whisker plot, we see that the median is a little bit smaller than the mean. We also get the values for the sample, variance and a standard deviation, which is very useful when we do some calculations. And we also get what is generally known as the margin of error. And I probably should, instead of confidence level, um, I probably should call this margin of error. And again, that is something that's very useful, as we will see in one of the next uh, videos. So this is how we can visualize a simple data set. And this data set can be much, much larger. So you can have tens or ten of thousands of these data points and you would get still a nice descriptive statistic and you can also represent this with such a box and whisker plot. So I hope this makes sense and uh, thank you very much for watching.